Welcome to Idle Games TV and we're gonna check out another video that it's not an idle game. Although it's an RPG game, definitely it's worth a try. Welcome guys to Cookie Run Kingdom. Man, it's quite quite decent, good animation and definitely you need to try this one. Okay, so I hope that you get the idea. Obviously, you're gonna have cookies as your heroes. So check these ones out. Okay, you're gonna have the epic ones, rare ones, and common ones, as obviously you're gonna have legendary ones that are really, really hard to get, depending on the events. Well, you're gonna have a fountain over here of abundance. Basically, this is where your idle rewards were gonna be. So definitely you can say that it's an idle game also, but whatever. You're gonna have different kind of houses that will produce different kind of cookies for you. Like for example, let's check one this one out. You're gonna have jelly bean farm where you will put consume coins, sorry, and you will get different kind of teas. You have sugar quarry, different kind of awesome, awesome things that you need to build in order for you to complete different kind of tasks. Basically, you're gonna have a train station. Let's open this one, and here it is, the train station. You will have up to three trains, you're gonna complete some orders, it will require you different kind of things that you will be able to provide them from here. So you can complete the orders by fulfilling different kind of wishes as I mentioned earlier and it's gonna be really really nice. It's nice, it's an awesome animation. As you can see you can zoom in really really well, you can see the cookies. I mean come on, <laughs> really really nice. See? Cool. See, you have a sugar gnome over there that it's upgraded in a building, quite nice. Okay, honestly, definitely give it a try, guys. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do in this game, you're gonna need to upgrade a lot, a lot, a lot. You're gonna need to build a lot. Basically, build some buildings and upgrade them as fast as you can. You're gonna have over here your cookie castle, basically at level six, at level eight, and at level 10, you're gonna have different kind of milestones obviously my first tip is gonna be when you're gonna reach your cookie castle at level six stop over there and upgrade all the buildings that you have at their maximum level and what i mean by that upgrade over here the cookie houses basically these are the ones that will give you experience and with those experience points you will be able to upgrade your soldiers although you will get experience from farming in the campaign mode as well the cookies are the one the experience points are the one that will level your heroes up one more thing guys, don't forget, try to upgrade only the cookies that you think you're gonna use. Like for example, this one, the epic tiger lily cookie. If you think it's good for you, definitely upgrade it. If not, please do not use your experience points like I did over here on rare cookies or on common cookies. Although you will start with common cookies, like for example, this one, the ginger brave, is gonna be your first one that you're gonna start with. Don't upgrade him too much. Upgrade him at least just to pass the levels. And afterwards, when you're gonna have the opportunity to have epic cookies, definitely upgrade those. The bad part about this game is the fact that you cannot reset the level from your cookies, so you will not be able to collect those experience points that you wasted. I'm gonna promote this guy to four stars. Ooh, see, nice. Okay, here it is. He is oh three stars. Sorry, my bad. Okay, he's stronger, way more stronger than before. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, upgrade at least your epic cookies. Try to find a decent and good tier list. It depends on where you're gonna search for PVE or PVP, but definitely upgrade your epic cookies, not the common or the rare ones. Okay, so. As I mentioned earlier, you're definitely gonna need to do a lot, a lot of experience. You're gonna have over here the wishing tree, the tree of wishes. Every day you're gonna be able to fulfill up to 45 wishes. So for the first chest that you can see that is checked over there, you're gonna have 10 wishes. For the second one, it's gonna be 15, and for the third one, it's gonna be 20. So definitely 45 wishes, able to collect cash. This is the best way to obtain cash. Collect every time you can. The experience starts from the cookie houses and upgrade them as fast as you can. This is gonna be your main uh, place when you're gonna get the experience points. So upgrade the cookie houses, build as much as you can for them. And what I mean by that is the fact that I still need to upgrade, I still need to build, sorry, uh, four more cookie houses and upgrade all of them. I do not have any sugar gnomes available at this time, but as I mentioned, definitely you need to do that. Don't forget guys, 
oops sorry sorry about that we can definitely move the things around over here in the play section you have the world exploration super mayhem from time to time it's a limited event thing bounties a guild if you're gonna join a guild as well let's go in the world exploration over here and you're gonna have two main things so the story mode and the dark mode we're gonna go to the world map over here so the first things first when you're gonna be in the story mode the first one that it will be available for you obviously go as much as you can at least until chapter six what i mean by chapter six this is gonna be the first place where you will be able to switch to dark mode by the way you cannot go in the dark mode if you didn't uncover yet the story mode so basically go for the story as much as you can afterwards go in the dark mode the dark mode will consume more energy than the story so the energy what i mean by the energy are the ones over here so stamina jellies as you can see hey, this is basically a time management event uh, game sorry and you will need to consume those kinds of points of energy and that's how you'll be able to progress in the game campaign at least and definitely you need to check that one out so you will consume energy when you do different kind of fights this is the mayhem sorry we're gonna over here in my kingdom and we're gonna go for the play button we're gonna go for the world exploration and let's let's go over here let's see how further did we get okay let's go for a fight like this one i didn't get those three stars so let's start and as you can see this is my team you can have up to two heroes in the front depending on their class basically you have uh, fighters you will have the ones in the front you will have tanks mages archers as well healers support ones tons and tons of stuffs and also you will have different kind of buffs so for example if i'm gonna hit edit over here as you can see i can change these ones the treasures definitely are the ones that are very important in this game don't forget to summon them as well let's go for this fight and afterwards i'll show you another thing okay let's go let's go let's go as you can see cool cool skills definitely i do have two of most probably the best cookies that you can get in this game the one with the doll and the gummy jizzy or whatever it's she's called definitely the archer it's quite quite good let's hope that i will get three stars out of this fight come on come on come on okay you can do this you can do this kill that wizard see three stars nice okay i forgot about this one so definitely need to complete them if you're gonna get all those three stars you will get different kind of rewards from the campaign mode definitely worthwhile okay although i hit next stage i'm not gonna have that fight okay let's go back and as you can see over here i do need to complete this one at least in order for me to get those three stars over there but I'm not gonna keep you for that. Let's go back and let me show you how you're gonna be able to upgrade your cookie and why do you need to at least reach chapter six in the main story. So every time, this is a really, really good cookie. You're gonna be able to upgrade her skill as well. Okay, done. And how you're gonna level her up, but we're gonna talk about the toppings over here. So let me check. These all are rare ones so these are really good but i'm gonna show you best ones either we're gonna go for this one and check this one out this has all almost all of them are epic so we're gonna get the toppings that are epic obviously after chapter six so you're gonna go in the world exploration over here and you're gonna switch to the dark mode let's go over here dark and only at chapter six you will have epic topics so every time you're gonna fight you're gonna have the epic ones as you can see over here depending on what you want to have for a specific hero you're gonna fire them over here it's gonna take a lot of energy so don't waste it definitely this is the first place that you're gonna start farming for the toppings okay we're gonna go right back and we're gonna mention another thing uh, we're gonna remember another thing honestly don't forget not to put your experience points in the cookies that you do not want to upgrade so don't upgrade everything just for the sake of it try to upgrade them the at least the ones that are epic and afterwards you're gonna see which exactly you're gonna use okay after a while you're gonna be able to unlock the lab over here so in the lab you're gonna be able to upgrade different kinds of things but let's say that the best thing that you can upgrade 
is the first one over here so you're gonna have up to 10% for the experience star jelly efficiency so definitely this is gonna be your main thing that you want to upgrade when you're gonna be able to unlock the laboratory so don't forget check out this game it's awesome as I mentioned although it's not entirely uh, idle game definitely it's worth a try you're gonna have different kind of game modes lots lots of events you're gonna have different kind of islands over here that you need to fight hard hard fights man definitely you have a ton of things to do in this game believe me definitely it's worth your time so please check this game out if you have already tried it please drop a comment and let me know your thoughts about this game tons and tons of quests you're gonna have a lot of rewards don't forget to collect the star gel experience ones and upgrade your cookie houses as fast as you can because you're definitely gonna need those star points and obviously what you're gonna go you're gonna go for gacha over here and you're gonna be able to summon different kind of cookies if you do not want this specific cookie although it's epic most probably do not need it but let's just draw one time over here and let's see what we're gonna get we're gonna skip oh an epic one comes right now mm -hmm. who is it who is it hmm let's see what what's over there oh here you are my friend ambush okay so oh okay so one new epic and as you can see i get different kind of hero shards definitely good ones we're gonna go over here these are normal cookies so definitely you can get whatever you want from here let's draw one over here skip no nothing nothing new at least let's go one more time over here no nothing okay so the treasures over here definitely you need these ones in order for you to get a decent buff in different kind of fights so don't forget about these ones as well you're gonna have costumes free gift that you can have daily so whatever okay different kind of things that you definitely want to do in this game so don't forget check this game out okay guys this was just a simple game review until next time take care and don't forget to subscribe bye